got Enrique Perez with me right now. He is the promoter for Rebel Fighter, so all of this that you're seeing tonight, all these people here, they wouldn't be here without this guy. So I'm gonna give him a chance to tell you a little bit about, if you don't already know, about Rebel Fighter. Enrique, so tell me when Re Rebel Fighter came to be. When did it start up? Uh, basically it started, uh, me and Gary LaFranc started, uh, we did a uh, off uh, amateur boxing show down in the Bulls. And uh, it turned out really good, so I figured uh, if we did get an amateur boxing, might as well try the pros, and uh, here we are. I mean, uh, uh, we, I think this is our 18th show. 18? Yes. Okay, great. So, I mean, we, we've been doing amateur shows and uh, professional shows, and uh, this is an all-pro car show. Exactly. Big, big car. So, as I understand it, you actually do post amateur fights as well, and pro, or have you just moved into entirely doing professional fights now? Well, uh, as soon as they, they made uh, uh, amateur uh, fights legal in California, I started, I started doing amateur uh, am, pro, pro am, which is okay. half, half car pro, professional, half car amateur. Now, uh, I kind of tried to get away from that, and I'm doing uh, uh, a all amateur and all professional show. Okay. So, Great turnout tonight. We've been in, we've been milling around in the crowds a little bit. People are excited. We've got a lot of good fighters. Um, so tell me a little bit about, or for our viewers, where you see Rebel Fighter going over the next couple of years. Well, I, I, the, the question everybody asks me is, uh, when are you going to go big? And uh, <laughs> uh, to me, uh, I want to stay small as long as I can. Okay. But uh, if I ever get the opportunity to go big, uh, we'll take it. Right now, I have American Cage Fighters. They're televised my uh, my my fight. Okay. Uh, so we're at the second step of the really going to the next level. Good. But I'm, Good. I'm, I'm not in a hurry to get bigger. I mean, uh, well, and keeping it small has its advantages, I think, because you get an opportunity to really highlight some of the local local fighters here, right? Exactly. In Northern yeah. California. So that's really special. Well, I, I, I tell all, all the fighters that I want to be set a stepping stone for you guys to move on to bigger, better thing. I love to see my my fighters go to the UFC, strike forward, and have bigger shows. So great. I'm, I'm glad to be able to help them out and get to the next level. Great. Well, we're really happy to be here. You've organized a great event tonight. Um, we've been having a lot of fun being here, so thanks a lot. So you guys, be looking for Rebel Fighter. They're going to keep coming at you. By the way, do you have any plans for what you're looking to do next? Well, uh, the next show in June is going to be an amateur uh, fight. Okay. Uh, we're doing that as a fan racer for uh, breast cancer. Uh, Excellent. A good friend of mine, uh, she's a breast cancer survivor. Uh, so we're trying to put them together, get back to the community, That's get back, really get, get back to, the, to the people who need to. So I'm really excited about it and uh, so we're going to make it happen. Good for you. Good for you. Now, where is that one going to be? Uh, right here. Right here, Am Amador County Fairgrounds. And the date again? Uh, I don't have the date set yet. But Sometime in June. All right, so you guys heard it from Enrique. Be looking for Rebel Fighter again in June right here in Plymouth. Um, they're doing some really special charity, so we're excited to be showing back up for more Rebel Fighter events. Again, this is CobraDashSource.com and 